Hi friends and welcome to another video. Um, if you are new here, my name is Michaela and welcome to our little cozy uh, bookish area of the internet. Um, I'm really glad that you're here and I'm really excited for today. If you don't know, I just absolutely love the bookstores here in Chicago. My absolute favorite is Unabridged Books. Um, if you have not checked them out, I highly recommend going there. Um, I actually have a whole video on them that I'll link below. But I have a few bookstores that I have not been able to kind of check out here in Chicago that I'm really, really excited to see. One of them actually just recently opened up, I think like two weeks ago. Um, so I am very, very excited to check them out and explore them with you and get some new books. So let's go. First bookstore that we're gonna check out is called The Understudy. It is a theater themed uh, coffee slash bookshop um, and it just opened up like a week ago so it's probably gonna be very very busy so I think we're just gonna like pop in there. Um, I just so you guys know I get a little anxious when filming in public um, so I am going to try my best, um, but I am just super excited to check out this bookshop. It's been um, really exciting to kind of see the process of it being built and have it be officially open now. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to show you all this and um, I hope it's going to be a fun time. <laughs> Alright, so the next bookstore that we're going to uh, go to is called Myopic Books, um, and it honestly is the best used bookstore in Chicago. I absolutely adore it. It's really well uh, maintained. It's three stories <laughs> full of books, um, and the staff is just really great. I just absolutely love it. Um, the first time I went there was with one of my friends, and I have wanted to go back for a very long time, so I'm excited to show you all this store and maybe get some new books. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I also stopped in a little like Zine store um, which is called Quimby's and it's really really cool. Um, it has a lot of like local Chicago Zines um, and just tons of them. Lots of comic books, lots of queer literature, um, which was super super cool. Um, I definitely want to step in there again but I am looking for a few specific books on my list and they did not have them so I am going to make a stop to my tried and true <laughs> unabridged books. Um, I wasn't gonna go there today but I just have like two more books that I've been really really wanting to uh, purchase and I just haven't been able to find them today so I'm gonna go back there um, see what they have them um, and then we'll do a little book haul so yeah super exciting! <laughs> Thank you. 
right, I am officially back and I have quite a haul. Um, I was really excited to find the books that I did, so I'm excited to share them with you and I'll go kind of by a bookstore. Um, so of course the first bookstore was The Understudy and I got um, a book called A Thousand Acres. Um, it was a staff pick and it just sounded fascinating to me um, and I was talking to the staff and they're just so nice. I before I get into this, I just highly recommend checking them out. It is such a cute little coffee shop, um, bookstore scene. You can like get um, get a coffee, work there, read. They have some really cozy areas. It's just so cute. I highly recommend going. I definitely want to go back, um, especially like just editing or doing other things like that. So highly recommend if you're in Chicago to check out The Understudy. It is super cute. But yes, so um, A Thousand Acres is a basically a retelling of King Lear um, in 20th century um, Iowa. It's about like three sisters on this farm. Um, and I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I was the really annoying Shakespeare nerd in high school. So when I heard that this was kind of similar to King Lear, I got really excited about it and I am very, very excited to read it. All right, the next four books are from Myopic Books um, and I am so excited about it. So I got um, a picture of Dorian Gray, just a normal Penguin Classics copy. Um, there was a really cool version of this, but I've never read a picture of Dorian Gray before, so I wanted to just get like the normal copy of it before I got a really fancy one. Um, but that was there. I was very tempted. I didn't get it, but I'm still very excited to read this and um, see what the hype is all about because I've heard this is this is just a wonderful intro to classics um and it still hits true and it's really good um and i've read stuff from oscar wilde before i just have never read picture of dorian gray so i'm very excited the next book i got was emma um i have not owned a copy of emma yet and um i just i just love this story i think it's amazing and i wanted to get a copy and really like um annotate it and read it and just kind of love it for myself. Um, I absolutely love the film adaptation of Emma. I believe it might be on HBO right now. Um, I'm not positive, but it's just so good. I absolutely adore the just spring vibes and because I'm in my like spring Regency cottagecore vibe era, um, I had to pick this up. It was just a must have. So I'm really excited to have this. The next book I got was The Atlas Six. Um, I was really, really excited to see this at the um, used bookstore because I've been seeing this book everywhere recently um, and I've been really wanting to read it. So I'm super excited to um, officially have a copy and I believe this is kind of like a dark academia vibe book. Um, so yeah, super, super excited to be reading this and um, I love like the art inside. I don't know, it's just super cool. I was really excited to find this, so um, yeah. And the last book I got was a poetry book by E.E. E. Cummings, um, and it was just one of the staff picks, and I absolutely loved the cover of this, so um, I'm really excited to get this a go. I didn't get anything from the Zine store, um, or the Zine bookstore, but I'm very excited to go back. Um, but then I went to Unabridged, and I got four more books, um, which is just amazing. I was so excited. Um, so two of the books I've actually already read, um, and that is Braiding Sweetgrass and A Prayer for the Crown Shy. These are two books that I um, read from the library. Needed to own physical copies of. Um, they're both five stars and probably some of my favorite books of all time. Um, ex yeah. Both of these books I think could go in my favorite books of all time list. Um, I absolutely adore them and I just wanted physical copies so I could write in them and really tear them apart like I do with all of my favorite books. So super, super excited to have these. Um, the next book I got was Wayward by Amelia Hart. Um, I've seen this book everywhere. Everyone's been raving about it. Um, I believe it's kind of a like witchy cottagecore vibe. I'm not positive, but I think that's kind of the um, 
interest there um, but I just absolutely adore the cover um, and I've asked about it quite a bit and everyone I have talked to says they absolutely loved it so I'm excited to give this a shot. And the last book that I got was Cultish. I've wanted to read this book for a very long time now ever since I saw it and the cover and everything. Um, it's just something that I find very very interesting and I've heard that, that it really breaks um, kind of the language of cults down in a really fascinating way so I'm excited to give this a shot. Alright so that is my book haul. Um, I kind of went crazy today I'm not gonna lie <laughs> um, but I am very excited to have all these. Um, it's always fun to buy books to put in my library it always makes me happy um, so yeah um, but I hope you all enjoyed um, exploring some of my favorite Chicago bookstores with me um, and if you have any other bookstore recommendations, please let me know. Um, I love exploring new bookstores. It's just my absolute favorite thing to do. Um, and if you ever are visiting Chicago and are visiting one of these, um, send me pictures and all the different things. Um, I love it when people come visit and they're just excited to explore all things. So um, yeah. I think that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed just this kind of fun, adventurous one today, and I will see you um, in the next one. Bye!